When it boils down to it, I like riding motorcycles with my friends because I like to just act out and my friends will do some dumb stuff. And when you put us on motorcycles, I guess it's just funny. So I built these two bikes at the same time. So they kind of have really similar styles. They both have a little bit longer front ends than stock and they're both hardtail frames. So in the 60s, these guys were doing super original things. And a lot of kids don't realize that if you're building a chopper now, you're just copying the 60s. I try to, to add on to the style that they started with and like my Triumph, for instance, I, I have a really unconventional paint job on it. I had a local artist paint it and it kind of looks like a Keith Haring painting. I think I've always been a creative person and I ended up going to college for photography. Some people think it was this huge jump that I made going from studying photography to building motorcycles. But when I think about the things I liked about photography, it wasn't the actual taking of the image or the final print, it was the, the physical manufacturing of the photograph, using the darkroom and using chemicals to create something. And I liked the, the actual physical photograph, like building a photograph. I just finished this bike a couple weeks ago. It's a brand new bike, I think this is a 2013. So I kind of, I didn't want to have a vintage style bike. I wanted to build something that was a little more techy and kind of, you know, inspired by off-road vehicles. I kind of liked the contrast between the curves and the, you know, cubist style that this thing is. So I ended up building a couple other things, like I built this uh, fender brace. I did brake guards like you'd see on a dirt bike, but they're still kind of cubist and they're aluminum. So what do you think, how did it end up? Fucking rad, look at it. <laughs> My parents weren't into motorcycles, so this is all just me teaching myself this stuff. One of those things was machining. I decided I needed to start having more accurately produced parts on the bikes, so I started looking for a lathe and I found some old gray beard selling this LeBlond lathe that I have. And hopefully my kids are into motorcycles and I can show them how this stuff works. I don't want to do this for a living because I don't want other people telling me how to build the bike for them. Right now I still have a regular job and I'm just doing this for fun. Greg, and I'm a builder.